Okay, good evening. This is a regular meeting of the Princeton Planning Board. It's Thursday, April 11th, 2019. And the opening statement is as follows. Pursuant to Section 13 of the Open Public Meetings Act, adequate notice of the time and place of this meeting has been given by prominently posting the 2019 agenda resolution of the regularly scheduled meetings of the Princeton Planning Board. Such notice has been placed on the official bulletin board at the Princeton Municipal Complex and is to be maintained throughout the year by transmitting a copy of such schedule to the Princeton Packet, Town Topics, Times, Trentonian, and Comcast Media. A copy has been filed with the Clerk of Princeton on the 7th day of December, 2018. Legal notice on the adoption of said resolution appeared in the December 14, 2018 edition of the Princeton Packet. Call the roll, please. Ms. Capizzoli? Here. Mr. Cohn? Here. Mr. Oakman? Mr. Quinn? Here. Ms. Sachs? Here. Mr. Stankowitz? Mr. Texarney? Ms. Wilson? Here. Mrs. Gunning? Here. Mr. McGowan? Here. Ms. Fowler? Here. We have a quorum. Thank you. We have I just one announcement for tonight, and that is that the redevelopment group working on the Princeton seminary project will be having a meeting that's next Wednesday, April 17th at seven o'clock and it will be in the Erdman Center on Library Place. Anybody have anything else they want to announce? Okay. The hearing for this evening is Bandy Property Group, LLP. It's a minor subdivision with variances and it's an extension request and Let's see, Mr. Laplace, are you, you going to guide us in this one? I will do my best, thank you, Madam Chair. Members of the board, um, this is a request for an extension of time to perfect a subdivision. Um, the members of the board that were on this last year when the approval was given in 2018 may recall, this was three undersized lots on Birch Avenue between Race Street and Byard Lane were first being consolidated and then subdivided into two not conforming but more conforming larger lots. Um, on one of the lots, the existing single family house would be maintained and, and restored and then on the new, newly created second lot there would be a new um, residence built. Um, it received approval at the time, subdivision approval, and um, the applicant will, will explain to us today why some extension of time is needed. Um, subdivisions are given 190 days to perfect um, the, the, the application and there's a need for more time. The applicant has been trying to meet the conditions of the approval but um, it has taken some more time for instance to meet the conditions of the Historic Preservation Commission and some other conditions mm -hmm. of approval. Um, so what you have before you is a subdivision that was approved uh, and supported by um, adjacent property owners and the Historic Preservation Commission and um, needs an extension of time to perfect the subdivision. Okay, thank you very much. Are there any questions on that? If not, let's see. I guess we get to hear from the applicant at this point. If thank you, you. Um, uh, Madam Chairwoman, uh, members of the board. Um, I, I think um, Michael had everything pretty much right here. We were here uh, most recently in, in July for this approval. Um, I'll, I'll ask uh, Mr. Moeller actually, this, this was a, it is a noticed um, extension, so I just, just confirm, uh, you know, I think we believe started a notice package in that you've got jurisdiction before we do this, but I believe that to be the case. Um, Eileen, if you could jump in, the notice was proper and I take it yes. service and publication. Yes, jurisdiction was. can be yep. taken. Thank you. Um, um, as, uh, as Michael said, we have two of the principals from the, the applicant here, but uh, uh, largely um, they have been just working since then to get this done. Um, they've completed all the conditions and uh, the deed was approved for execution, uh, but when the bond was posted, we had just missed the 190-day the deadline. Uh, the, the chief one, um, which set us back a bit, um, this was initially subject to historic approval um, almost prior to and, and kind of in parallel um, to the subdivision, but that historic approval, as it turns out, was only for the historic aspects of the physical subdivision. 
and not for the houses itself. So we kind of left here thinking we had those approvals and um, found out in the fall that we needed to do another full application before HPC um, uh, for, for both of the new, well, the house and the existing house. Uh, and that was chiefly um, why it took slightly longer than the 190 days that we needed. Okay. And you're completely through with HPC at this point then? Well, I, I'm, I hesitate to say completely. Um, I, I don't know if that, I, I assume completely exists at some point, um, but <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll maybe Julie can speak to that. Yeah. We're very close. Um, yeah, Julie Capazzoli. Um, I have been, we at the HPC have been working with applicants and they have been extremely diligent about working out <laughs> any kind of details with the houses. They've been uh, very responsive. There's been a few small changes, but we've, we've all worked it all out. And my understanding from the last meeting is that every single thing has been decided. So I don't anticipate any other, any issues. Okay, thank you. Any questions, anybody at this point? I just have one. Oh, Ryan, the 90-day the extension you, you want, is that from the end of the last extension, uh, at the end of the original 190 days? I'll, I'll say we, we asked for it that way because that's what can be requested. I think that by no means is it necessary to have that extension because it's going to be extended for the Yeah, I'm not, I'm not challenged. I just uh, was wanted to make sure the 190 days started running from the end of the original 190 yes. days. Uh, yeah. All right. If, if there are no board questions, because this is a notice public meeting, let me just have a moment or two. Let's say that it's open for public comment, and um, I don't think unless you gentlemen want to suddenly leap forward and say something that we're going to hear something All right if there's no if there's no public comment let me close that anyone want to add anything if so but then i'm happy to move it thank you move we have a we motion approve the extension is there a second i'll second okay it's been moved and second is there further discussion? Anyone? You want to call the roll on that, please? Ms. Capazzoli? Yes. Mr. Cohn? Yes. Mr. Quinn? Yes. Ms. Sachs? Yes. Ms. Wilson? Yes. Mrs. Gunning? Yes. Mr. McGowan? Yes. Ms. Ms. Apollo? Yes. Motion carried. Okay. Move to adjourn. Yes. Is there a second? second. <laughs> all, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Nobody ever. Hmm? Usually mystery stories. Yes. <laughs>